Thomas, 77, claimed in an interview he tried to send a bouquet of red roses along with two yellow roses as a tribute to his grandchildren, Archie and Lilibet Mountbatten Windsor. He claimed, I wished her a happy birthday and brighter days ahead but I've not heard back. I'm blaming Harry for this mostly. Harry has this saying, if you look at the paparazzi, you're done. I'm surprised Harry never bothered to come and visit me, or ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. Speaking to Dan Wooten on GB News, Thomas said he is confused as to why his relationship with Meghan broke down. He also said he hopes he can hold his two grandchildren one day, but claimed the couple does not answer or respond in any way, shape or form to him. Thomas told Mr. Wooten, Megan, change, shush is not the daughter I knew. My daughter was a much more loving person than she is now. In 2018, Thomas is said to have staged paparazzi photos for Meghan in the lead-up to her 2018 royal wedding to Harry. Thomas also had to pull out of walking his daughter down the aisle at the ceremony after suffering a heart attack. The estranged father also branded his daughter a liar and claimed she had changed since meeting Harry. Mr. Wooten asked Thomas whether Meghan lied during the explosive interview with Oprah earlier this year, to which he said, She lied. She's been lying for years. It comes after Daniela Elsa, royal commentator, claimed Meghan was left out of the private gathering at Althorpe House in Northampton in 2017 which took place to celebrate the life of Princess Diana. She said in news.com.au, the family had planned a private service for July 1 to rededicate her grave. On the guest list were not only William and Kate but their children Prince George and Princess Charlotte, Diana's siblings Earl Spencer, Lady Sarah McCorkadale and Baroness Fellows and, who else? The Archbishop of Canterbury. Notice one name missing, despite having, according to the Daily Mail, travelled from Toronto to London, Meghan was not there. At the time the situation was framed as it not having been considered appropriate for her to attend the service. Harry reportedly saw things differently, very differently, 